Thank you, Mr. Chaudhary and Mr. Panigrahi. We now bring you an action-packed interview with two gentlemen who have their names associated with some of the top brands we use and talk about every day. Mr. Aditya Ghosh, member, board of directors, Fab India and OYO, chairman, SEWA Social Enterprises, in conversation with Mr. Sanjeev Beek Chandani, co-founder, InfoEd. Welcome, gentlemen. The stage is yours. Thank you, Shelly. Um, hi, Sanjeev. Thank you. Hi, Aditya. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. Thanks, Aditya. Hey, Sanjeev. I, um, let me first start off with, uh, you know, we were just talking about how our professional and personal lives have kind of merged because of, uh, you know, working out of home. Uh, because we're a hotels industry, do you, when do you see yourself travel um, uh, more frequently and, and stay in hotels? I mean, what's your, what's your take? Well, look, I think travel is back. People are doing it. But, you know, a lot of people are doing what's essential. And what's not essential, they're trying to avoid. And, you know, earlier you would travel without thinking. Now you think twice. Um, so that's kind of uh, cut it a bit, but I, I think there's also enough uh, revenge travel happening that people have been cooped up so long that they really want to go out. Um, so, I, so I think it's a bit of both. I was talking to Deep the other day, Deep Kalra of Make My Trip, yeah, and he was yeah. saying, listen, I mean, uh, it's a different kind of property that's very popular now. You know, weekend stays, uh, driving business from Delhi, uh, as opposed to, I mean, if you're, if you're living in Delhi like I am, uh, and uh, perhaps, uh, you know, Airbnb and standalone cottages. Yeah. So a new kind of travel has emerged in times of COVID where people believe they're safer doing that. But I think another three or four months, if there's no third wave, we'll be all right. I think uh, I can I can see the fag end of it as long as there's no third wave. I think the vaccination program is uh, is moving ahead full steam. I think by end of December, the government is targeting, what I've heard, is targeting to get uh, everybody double vaccinated, unless you don't want to be. So Jeep, let's, let's talk about, you know, now that we are seem like there is there is you know light at the end of the tunnel, um, and if you if you just kind of bear with me and say you know what let's let's take this period of time away right, do you think some things have fundamentally changed in the last eighteen months, and are there some other things which have kind of not changed you know and this we see this as eighteen months as a sort of a you know break but how, how does one look at this? So I think, uh, first of all, I have learned how to work over video <laughs> and remote. Uh, in the sense, I was not mentally attuned to it earlier. So every time there'd be video conference with, say, an investor overseas, I would tell the CEO, you have to do it, And I had to be persuaded. No, no, you have, it's important that you're there. So I, was, I, I was kind of camera shy and not comfortable in video conference, but now it's second nature. I'm doing five or six, uh, maybe more than that, uh, you know, video calls a day. Uh, Zoom, Google Meets, whatever. Right? Uh, now, so I think uh, organizations too have got used to, uh, you know, we, for example, would never allow uh, work from home. We were reluctant on flexi hours. Uh, we were, were pretty much an old school, you know, face-to-face -face kind of company that you can't really manage people, manage teams, unless, you know, you can have a cup of coffee across the table, unless you can backslap, unless you can shoot the breeze. You know, we were real believers in uh, MBWA, management by walking about. We still, we still believe that. At least I still believe that. But then, look, I'm 58, so I'm kind of old school, right? Uh, but I think as an organization, we'll be more open to it now, now that having done it for a year and a half and find, found that we can do it successfully. Uh, but the truth is, Aditya, you can't really build culture uh, unless you meet and spend time together and share experiences. You can't really manage a team on a sustainable basis, right? So we, you know, as a company, we never, we didn't withdraw a single offer we'd made last year on campus. So we inducted 75 fresh engineers on one day, right? Uh, as you might have offline, but it was an effort. Now, how do you supervise them? How do you train them? How do you look over his shoulder to see how he's doing? You know, uh, how do you help them solve problems that he cannot solve otherwise? These are new challenges for, for managers. So look, I think uh, you, so something has changed, uh, notably um, companies' willingness to be a, at least a hybrid model. Uh, I think people like me, my willingness to do stuff over video. Uh, I think we've learned new stuff. Our sales team would do maybe two or three sales calls a day uh, in the before COVID, because you know you got to commute, you got to wait at reception, you got to have the ritual cup of tea or coffee. Then you start talking business. It takes an hour for the meeting. Then you come back, right? So you do three a day at best. Right now, our sales team is doing ten or twelve a day on video. And the good news is that Hitesh can join any meeting in the country any any on any day, any time, sitting in Delhi. Or NOIDA, 
right? Uh, so something has changed. I think uh, and our minds are open, but human nature will not change. I mean, ultimately, human beings are social people, social animals, and so you will need to also meet people, and think that will not change. And so, moment it's safe, uh, you know, people will come back. Also, I guess many people's home environments are not great for work from home. You know, there may not be enough space. There may be, you know, poor internet bandwidth. There may be, you know, uh, you may not have a private room. Uh, you may, you know, and you may want to move out of it. So I think that is also happening. Uh, so increasingly, we are seeing some people coming back to office, although office is officially shut. We are still working from home. But so, some people... Yeah, Sanjeev, I mean, you know, you're the, you're the internet consumer tech king, right? Wealth creator par excellence. So, you know, especially two of your horses have done phenomenally well from the stable, both Zomato and Policy Bazaar. Um, I've got Oyo coming up um, shortly. Um, where, and, know, and Fab India, right? You've got and Fab, Fab India coming and, up. And, and Fab India coming up. In fact, that's the question I wanted to ask that, you know, given that, you know, how, how you know, the internet world has, has re and, and digitization has, has and, and digital, the digital economy has benefited you personally, how do you kind of look at, you know, people coming back to stores, the offline presence, um, you know, how, how do you see that in the context of what you were just talking about? That people well, if you step that. out on the streets of Delhi yeah. and Noida and Gurgaon nowadays, it's as uh, crowded as it ever was. Russia is back. Right. So clearly people are reverting to type. Hmm. You no. Know, uh, are they more open to Zoom and video? Yes, they are. Like we're having this conversation on video. Yeah. But uh, do I also meet people? Uh, to some extent, answer is yes. But do others... Uh, meet more people, I can see that happening. Right? So people are cautious at the same time they're moving out. So I think things are coming back. So people will go to stores, people will do offline shopping. You go to any market, it's reasonably crowded. And uh, and kind of, you know, uh, stepping back for a second and, and talking about, um, you know, the two I IPOs that, that you did recently, the both Policy Bazaar and, and Zomato, um, what have been some of the key learnings, you know, and there are a lot of people listening in, especially from the hotel industry, the hospitality business, travel. What, if you kind of say, you know, these are the two or three things that, that you learned, which was which is different from what you thought a year back. Yeah, just a clarification. Policy Bazaar has filed for IPA, not yet yeah. gone public. Yeah. Uh, Zomato has gone public. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and 15 years ago, you know, we went public. Yes. So I think uh, the message is the same. There is strong investor interest uh, in good businesses, good brands, uh, which have got strong consumer franchise, which have got uh, innovative model, uh, which are showing growth, and if not profit, at least part to profit, right? Uh, so there is no dearth of capital. I think India is in a good place uh, as far as global capital markets are concerned, especially with uh, the West being less interested in China right now. So a lot of that capital that is seeking growth uh, you know, especially after the Fed infused $4 trillion in the global economy about a year ago, uh, maybe a year and a half ago, I think a lot of uh, capital has been coming to India, will come to India. And barring some sort of event risk, I think uh, we're going to see a surfeit of capital and many, many IPOs. But Aditya, before we go on, I want to ask you a couple of questions here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You started your professional career as a lawyer. Yes. Okay, now how did the lawyer get to head an airline and then get on the board of so many companies and then head so many apples? What what happened? Kahani's a lawyer. Th thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Sanjeev. <laughs> you know, um, Sanjeev, um, probably a combination of three things. One, um, you know, an innate desire to understand how businesses really work and, and what really makes sense for, for customers um, in, you know, as a fundamental bit of the of the business, um, and and you know, in some ways, I used to think like if an engineer can can sell soaps, then why can't a lawyer kind of you know um, you know trans, trans transcend into 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 a business role. The second is that um, you know I I had a bunch of very very smart colleagues around me, and um, you know from whom I learned almost every day. And, and I don't mean this, I don't say this just as a cute thing to say as, but, 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 you know, when I look at youngsters these days, starting off their careers or in the middle of their careers, I think they're just sometimes not learning enough or not stepping back and saying, what can I learn from this 
next person next to me you know so that that kind of benefited me greatly but the third is that and this i think probably you know you will even you will resonate with sanjeev in the last 20 years and in my belief in the next 15 years we are in this really fortunate period of time in india where um if you work hard enough and if you kind of are able to spot an opportunity and really stay focused on what makes sense for the customer just the growth in the economy the under penetration of of a market you know kind of takes you takes you forward you know so whether it has been indigo whether it has been oyo or even for that matter the new sort of you know omni channel avatar of fab india the underlying you know you know demand in the market has really kind of done a has has really been a great tailwind for us and I've, of course now i'm involved in starting a brand new airline because nothing fundamentally changed you know there is still a very large country with very few people uh, with, with very few airplanes so demand is far outstripping supply and as long as you're running a focused business which talk which keeps the cost structure in check and and focus on the needs of the customer there is there is a you know great opportunity likewise for example retail you know fab india another difficult sort of so called difficult business but there again you know if you're able to run a profitable business which reaches reaches every corner of the country and you're able to provide a product it works look at oyo for example and you know we are in a um, hospitality um, conference today there is just so much under penetration in the market you know there is still so much um the, the sector is so disorganized and unorganized that anybody who comes in with uh, superior technology you know you're able to kind of um, <clears throat> you know make a difference today even today globally more than 80% of hotels and homes are unorganized in india 92% of hotels and homes are unorganized um and if you can kind of use technology to solve these hard problems to solve you're able to immediately see an impact you know i was i was i was i was looking at some data about um, you know almost every one of our hotel patrons whether in india malaysia indonesia or for that matter a developed market like europe sees a 1.5 to 2.4x jump in earnings in the first 3 months um so i i guess to answer your question to be ever curious and to be able to kind of you know sponge it out i think i think makes a lot makes a lot of sense hey uh, boss i i want i want a more specific answer to yes. more specific question that moment that day that week that month when somebody was crazy enough to offer a lawyer yes a job in an airline and yes. you were crazy enough to take it when you were a extremely capable and high performing lawyer and well paid right and then to say yaar main law nahi main wakalat nahi main management karunga okay. wo bhi airline mein okay uh, and ye nayi airline hai that, so, what were you thinking what was going that, on in your head that that was an interesting story you know exactly it was happened exactly 13 years ago in the summer of 2008 and i remember you know indigo had not made money by then we are re- we were really down to single digit million dollars in our in our books um there was our two american expats were going back and rahul uh, you know came up to me uh, after obviously speaking to rakesh and said that you know that we want to come, we want you to switch over and run the airline and i'm telling you honestly uh, sanjeev i was like rahul this is an absolutely bad idea i mean you know this is crazy i've i've never been to business school i've never run a business in my life before this is i've not even had a business role somewhere and this back and forth discussion went on for about 2 months and sanjeev in the, at that time i was also scared you know i mean in the sense i was i was 32 years old just shy of 33 we had just had our two small babies kids and i was thinking if this fails or if i if i screw this screw up this opportunity uh, not only will will a thousands of people lose their job but i will myself jeopardize my career ever as a as a lawyer but i think it was the tremendous amount of tenacity and confidence with which rahul and rakesh kind of just went at me um which kind of gave me the 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 confidence to say fine i'll i'll i'll, I'll take a shot at it you know and I, as long as as long as i put my heart and soul into it you know i'm going to i'm going to try to 
try to give it my best shot. And I remember the night before I took on the role, I sent an SMS in those days, SMS to Rahul. And I said, Rahul, I'll, I'll give it my best shot. And Rahul immediately within seconds replied back on SMS saying, Aditya, that's all I'm looking for. And that was, of course, uh, a 10, 10 year, you know, dream run. Um, but you, but it was a combination of excitement and somewhat, you know, that let's see what at the same time, a healthy dose of fear. I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't screw up this, this opportunity. You know? I think both those were, were very, very important. Uh, so that's a that's an interesting story. We'll have a longer session on that one sometime. Hey Sanjeev, um, you know there are a lot of lot of youngsters also watching us right right now, and I and I understand that people know you as this you know internet czar and uh, someone who changed the changed the business paradigm for consumer tech in India, but I also know that you're a multifaceted personality. Uh, very few people know you're a keen photographer. Very few people know your you have a keen interest in in uh, birds. Very few people know that uh, uh, you know something. You mentioned deep, deep. Myself, you. We are all involved in Ashoka University. Um, how do you? How, how do, is it good to pursue these various interests? Because you know, I see a lot of youngsters go after hustle and you know making the next. Yeah, I, I think my, my advice to young people is uh, look. Uh, or my life, what works for me. In the yeah. beginning, I drifted. I drifted and tried many things till I stumbled upon what I really wanted to do. So I drifted to discover. I dabbled to discover. Right? When I discovered, I focused. And when that succeeded, right? And we had a team and we had a strong brand franchise and we had serious revenue and profits. And we got listed. Right? That's when he said, okay, now we can. I can delegate. I can, And we can once again be divergent in our thinking. So new businesses, investments, some philanthropy, Ashoka University. Right? Yeah. So I think I think you need a, a what a period of drift where you're dabbling to discover what you really want to do. Right? Yeah. Once you stumble upon what you really want to do, then focus for as long as it takes to make it work. Yeah. So do one thing at that point in time and do it go deep and narrow and do it well. Two quick questions. And then once you make it work. And you believe, you know, you've got a great team and you can delegate. It's time for you to sort of delegate some more. Then you diver then you think divergently again. Hey, Sanjeev, That's I've, what noticed, me. I've noticed that, you know, you have now started putting money behind, uh, uh, behind also businesses that are beginning to look at consumer businesses differently. Like Slurp Farm, for instance. You know, both of you and I are, are investors in Slurp Farm. Nutrition's business, organic foods business. Why that, you know, and, and what made you kind of say that, you know, you're going to start putting money behind these kind of things as well? I think for the consumer, if you spot the consumer trend, yeah, right, even if your company or you are not going to pursue it, but if somebody else is and, yeah. and you know, and, and, and you have the ability and the option to invest, why would you not invest? Yeah. Because if a new good thing happens, uh, you know, it's a new good thing happening and it might change a few people's lives, right? At the same time, you may also get a good return on investment. Yeah. So it's a combination of many things, but you know, it's about the consumer finally. Can you, and look, you're a consumer guy. I'm a consumer guy. I started life in advertising, then yeah. moved to consumer marketing, non-tech, yeah. then moved to you know, consumer tech. Yeah. But the common thread is consumer. Hey, you know, Sanjeev, hotels business and, and somewhat airline business also, but hotels business has not been known traditionally to, um, to be at the front end of technology. Right. Um, I mean, and 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 the I know Deep is speaking straight after this, so I'm sure he'll have a lot to say about this as well. What's your kind of you know view on how the travel and hospitality business is able to use technology to kind of you know make make their businesses more? No, I think I think the scope is enormous and tremendous. Uh, you know, um, we've already seen it when you look at a uh, you know a, a make my trip with other travel aggregators. Uh, at least as far as consumer demand is concerned, there's a, already a big role of technology, right? Yeah. Uh, as far as operations are concerned, I think there is some technology, but there can be a lot more technology. But we are seeing it happen. We are seeing it happen, especially with, you know, SaaS platforms coming in. I think more and more will happen. Yeah. I mean, right? you know, interesting. Uh, with, with CRM, with CRM, there's yeah. uh, somewhere happening, a lot more needs to happen. 
Yeah. You know, Sorry, I, you were thinking. I, I, no, I was just saying at OYO, for instance, in the last one year, we've completely pivoted and, um, and we are using a lot of our resources, a significant amount of resources in creating technology that will ultimately help not just one business, but help, help the entire hospitality business. Because I've seen that, you know, in the airline business also when, you know, 10, 15 years ago, certainly airlines were not at the front end of, of, of tech. And look at how the travel business has dramatically changed. You know, and probably the same thing will happen. So, you know, the lesson I draw from that uh, yeah. is that do disruption at the end. Yeah. Very often does not come from large existing players. Yeah. It comes from new players. It comes from youngsters. It comes from somebody outside the industry. Yeah. So if OYO produces technology, yeah. right, it's only logical because Ritesh and others in the company who started the company were not from hotels. Yes. If if make my trip is disrupted. Right, Deep was not from hotels yeah. or airlines. Yeah, we ourselves in recruitment were not from uh, recruitment or HR business. I was never in HR. I was never in recruitment. Right. I was a consumer marketing guy. Yeah. Right. Uh, so therefore, disruption often comes from uh, outside the industry, yeah. and I think you will see that play out with Oyo. Yeah. Uh, you know where you guys are leading the technology platforms. You know in the hospitality sector, yeah, uh, and you guys didn't start life in hospitality. Yeah, yeah, no, ab ab absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, one, 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 one final question. Um, uh, is there already are there already too many? Uh, you know, is too much paper coming into the public markets, or do you think there is still a lot of potential? I think good companies will have potential. Yeah, uh, not so good, overpriced. You know, maybe a bit of a challenge, but that will we will see. But I have one last question for you before we wind up. Yes. Right. So listen, you're kind of young. Yeah, you're 45, 47, right? How old are you? 46. You're bang on target. Yeah. 46, right? That 46 to say, boss, my char board pe honga, my ye, you know, I'm now this. Uh, you know, you still have I think one more operating company left inside you. Oh, well, okay. isile, isile to I'm starting an airline. You know, there is. A... So, so I'm starting a new airline with uh, Rakesh Junjunwala and Vinay Dubey. And you will, and you will head it and run it operationally. Well, Vinay is going to head it operationally, and I'm going to be heavily involved in it as a co-founder. I am a co-founder, so I'm actually speaking to you from the UK, from London in the UK, because we're we're in the midst of a bunch of different things around that. So yeah, I think that if uh, that is probably going to eat up most of my life for the next you know 10, 15 years. Uh, and a very, very exciting opportunity. I'm uh, sure. Yeah. I'm sure. And all the very best. I'm sure it'll succeed. And, and good Thank luck, you. man. I mean, good luck. Yeah. I need it. Yeah. The airline business always needs it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much, Sanjeev. Thanks. Thanks, Aditya. Thanks. Back to you, Shelly.